lot of different parameters. Data was transformed, manipulated to get the ideal way to generate insights. Where everything was done in Python, but how the data was visualized? Visualization was completely done in Power BI. Each parameter or research question was deeply created into a base. Several columns were created just to support the question and analyze. Tons and tons of scatter plots and charts and visualizations were plotted. And with correlations being calculated, our department wise category categorization was done. Defined my way of thinking about work ethic, how to be sincere in what you do. They give us insight of what is yet to come for the future and the potential aspects. Uh, for computer vision, uh, they were trying to remodel a human hand and completely on a computer scale without using machine learning or uh, AI as they call it right now. Generalized uh, AI models and the technology used, the math used behind it. It was really fascinating. It was just a short talk with a lot of information encompassed into it. Whenever I come back from these talks, I feel like there's so much to learn, so much to explore and uh, from different fields, not just technical. There's a lot of uh, sessions conducted by Anu ma'am uh, from a uh, School of Entrepreneurship. Uh, she taught us how to pitch out how, how a problem is important, why a user is important. We as entrepreneurs, only think engineers think about solving a problem but never think about the user who is impacted by the problem so these are the learnings whenever i come back from these sessions whenever i sit down in my room uh, i think and explore as a student who loves to do prefer hands on work and do something and with a hardware component my my project being a completely software based reading through research papers for probably two weeks in the structure uh, this was initially very tiring but over the due process I started to enjoy the uh, reading research papers and analyzing what the people have, who have written those papers who have put in that effort have tried to explain in those papers uh, I'm working on writing my own paper with my help of the my mentors for possibly publishing in a conference there's a critical difference between this internship, which is like an academic base where all the interns are together living in IIT Bombay hostels and working here and other internships which are company based. Interns are completely given their own free hand to work on the project. They are given the resources, they are given space to work, they are given hardware components to learn and uh, try out different things and they are given clear deadlines on what are the project requires, specifies and deliverables that is required. So. For the complete seven weeks, the intern knows what needs to be done and how far they need to be progressed. And uh, all the other aspects, uh, visiting the naval dockyard and other aspects are like the second hand of the internship that actually gives you more value than other uh, internships out there. Uh, I learned a lot about work ethic and willpower and passion towards the nation and uh, that's something I want to develop into myself. It gave me a sense of working towards our country and uh, that's something I'll take back. Coming here, uh, we can say I've this, uh, redefined my who I am and how can I be in the future. Whatever you had in your mind, whatever hesitancy you faced, when, whether in competing in UISC or UISC or before coming in this internship, I think once you're truly here, once you experience living in this atmosphere, completely a different experience altogether. This complements this uh, internship. Living on my own with the interns, like we are a collective group that is all motivated towards doing their thing and. Uh, very dedicated in what they want to do. So that group and peer atmosphere itself is a huge motivation and that, some, that is something you want, I want to take back to my university and uh, set up a similar kind of environment in my, in my university around my students.